With the 21st pick in the 2000 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Morris Peterson from Michigan State University. Morris Peterson and Mateen Cleaves are big friends. They were born in the same year. In fact, Morris Peterson was born 12 days before Mateen Cleaves. Mateen Cleaves was picked number 14, and Mo Pete goes 21 here in the 2000 NBA draft. This guy has really developed and became, you know, from a sixth man to a first round pick here in the NBA. He's a five year player, number one. He's a lefty. He stays with it. You know what he is? He's unselfish almost to a fault. That characterized that Michigan State team. He played within himself and sacrificed for the team. He really runs the floor very well. He can almost fly. He stretches the defense, and he's got a quick release and a high release. He's actually one of those guys who shoots better when covered, and there's a hand up on him. He almost drills it like Hornacek better than when there's not one on him. I really like his attitude out there. He's going to have to defend much better, make a commitment to that, no question about it. But I'll tell you what, offensively, he'll stretch the defense and open things up. It'd be a great draw and kick guy for Carter to hit. Now he and Mateen Cleaves will be uh, competitors in the Central Division as they are chosen here on draft night, Hubie. Now this guy's an excellent catch and shoot. And like Rick said, on the break, he can stop on a dime and hit that medium jump shot for you. In half court sets, because of the type of talent that they have up there in Toronto, you need guys who can catch and shoot, stretch the D, like Rick said, and make that three-point shot. This was a good pick for them, and I think it's a comfortable place for him to go with his athletic talent. Yeah, and he'll be a great oil in that second unit. Another guy yep. who can put the ball in the basket when you have Carter and Christie going to the bench. Oh, yeah. You know, I was talking to his brother-in-law, Larry Broom, the other day, and Larry's from Houston. was kind of hoping that the Rockets might grab Mo Pete, so he, from a selfish standpoint, could watch him play quite a bit. But he did let me in on a secret that the woman he married, the sister of Morris Peterson, could really play. She's an older sister, and she used to block his stuff in the driveway, and Morris would say, don't let her do that. You can't block my shot. When he was in ninth grade, he finally started whipping his sister on a regular basis and hasn't stopped since. Let's go to Greg. Well, quite an athletic family. Your father, most senior, played college ball. So did your mother, Valerie. And as Ernie said, your sisters, Trina, Dominique, both did. What does this mean for the family? What are you guys talking about back there? Well, it means I'm, I'm going to have to get a lot of tickets now. But, uh, but um, it's great, you know, just having the family support me and um, being around me. And I think, you know, it's going to be a great situation for me. You probably sat there hoping your name would be called with each pick. Meanwhile, knowing Lenny Wilkins, he's probably sitting there saying, hey, I want this unselfish guy. I want this team player there available for me. What do you think about going to Toronto? Well, I think it's a great city. It's definitely a city on the rise. They have some great players. Um, Vince Carter, you know, he's a, he's a great player. He does a lot of things. And you know, they, they bring a lot of excitement. And, you know, every time I watch their games, you know, you see the crowd into it. And I'm, I'm that type of guy. You know, I'm unselfish, and I'm, I just want to get an opportunity to play. You and Mateen Cleaves led Michigan State <laughs> to a title. But in high school, you were arch rivals. Has a new rivalry developed between Detroit and Toronto? Well, we're right down the road from each other now. So, hey, we, we're going back at it again. But um, that's my guy. He's a good he's a good friend of mine. And um, I wish the best of luck for him. Rick Majera said you sacrificed for the best of the team. What did that national championship mean to you? Oh, it meant a lot, you know. Um, you know, at that time, my grandmother passed, so I was going through a lot of emotional things, but it's, it was great. You know, it was a great situation. Um, I'm just glad I was a bit able to be a part of it. And, you know, I'm, I'm the type of guy, I'll do whatever it takes to win. You know, I'll, you know, sacrifice anything in order to win. I think that's what winning is supposed to be about. Well, the team is a great teammate, but I think Vince Carter will be too. Oh, yeah, he's exciting. I'm getting ready to um, learn from one of the best, and hopefully we can make something happen.